Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to discuss about uh, Boolean rings. So let us first uh, write the definition of a Boolean ring. What is a Boolean ring? A Boolean ring is a ring in which A square is equal to A for all the elements in the ring R. What are such elements called? Such elements are called as idempotents. So basically, a, a Boolean ring is a ring in which all elements are idempotents. So such a ring is called as a Boolean ring. Now let us study some properties of such types of rings. First of all, if I have a, a ring which is a, a Boolean ring, then I must be able to prove that A plus A is equal to zero for all elements in the ring. Now why this is true? So now A belongs to the ring and the ring is a Boolean ring. This means that a square is equal to A for all A, correct? So now if I consider A plus A, now A plus A will also be in the Boolean ring because it's a ring. So this means A plus A whole square will also be equal to how much? Will be equal to A plus A. And therefore this means that A plus A into A plus A will be equal to a plus A and therefore when I apply distributivity, I will get A into A plus A into A is e plus A into A plus A into A will be equal to A plus A, which means that I'm getting A square plus A square plus A square plus A square is equal to A plus A. But we know that A square is how much? A square is A. So this means that a plus a plus a plus a is equal to a plus a and therefore by cancellation laws we will get that a plus a will be equal to zero. So this is what we wanted to prove in a boolean ring that a plus a is always equal to zero. So let me write here the next part is that if a and b are elements of a boolean ring okay and if uh, a plus B is equal to zero. Then what can I say about A and B? Then A, A must be equal to B. Okay, please pay attention. If A plus B is zero, then A must be equal to B. Now why this is so? Because uh, if A plus B is zero, then what we know that in a Boolean ring, a plus A is always equal to zero because we have proved that in the first part. So this means zero is equal to what? A plus A. And therefore I will get that A plus B will be equal to what? A plus A. And therefore when I do the left cancellation law for addition, I'm going to get that B is equal to A. So in a Boolean ring, if A plus B is zero, then A must be equal to how much? B. Now the third property of a Boolean ring is that suppose I am working in a Boolean ring. If A and B are in a Boolean ring, then A into B is always equal to B into A. Okay, so how will I justify this? Now if A belongs to the Boolean ring, B belongs to the Boolean ring, since it is a ring, then A plus B also must belong to the Boolean ring. This means that A square must be A, B square must be B, and A plus B whole square must be also equal to A plus B because all elements are idempotents. And therefore what I get when I look at this quantity, this is nothing but A plus B into A plus B is equal to A plus B and when I apply distributivity, I will get A into A plus A into B plus B into A plus B into B must be equal to A plus B and that is meaning that A square plus AB plus B square BA plus B square is equal to A plus B and therefore what I will get is that A square can be replaced by A plus AB plus BA plus b is equal to a plus b because a square and b square have become a and b in this step okay and therefore when i apply the left cancellation law and light right cancellation law with for addition operation i'm going to get that a b plus b a must be equal to zero as soon as i see that a b plus b a is equal to zero what do i know by the part two of this particular thing that if alpha plus beta is zero then what can I say about alpha and beta? Alpha must be equal to beta. So this means that if AB plus B is equal to zero, 
what can I say about AB and BA? AB must be equal to BA. This follows from what? This follows from the second part, okay? And therefore, we have proved that in a Boolean ring, what is our conclusion? We have proved that if you take any AB in Boolean ring, what have we proved? That AB must be equal to BA. This equivalently means that any Boolean ring is what is a commutative ring because AB must be always equal to BA. So this finishes this section.